Hello colleagues. After this lesson, you can navigate across the Zoho Analytics user interface and clearly understand its logic. To make your journey to the analytics world as comfortable as possible, I developed a small diagram that shows the main structure of user interface logic. It is an integral part of the course, which I believe will help you learn faster. This mind map gives you a complete understanding of the tool. One, workspaces. You may think about a workspace as a separate data analysis project. You can find the list of available workspaces right away on the main page of the Zoho Analytics application and enter the workspace you prefer by clicking on the tile. After you sign into the application, you need to choose a workspace or if you have selected a default one, you will be taken directly to this workspace. A workspace is the primary logical place to create and manage all your data, views, reports, and dashboards. Workspaces are isolated from each other by all means, data storage, user permissions, and dashboards. So, workspaces operate data independently from each other. This allows you to logically group your data sets, stored in entities called tables, and create insightful reports and dashboard over your data. Further, it provides various methods to collaborate with other users. The workspace also contains structural information on how the entities are related to each other. Two, data sources. This entity is responsible for fetching data from different files, applications, and services. It imports data according to a predefined schedule. First of all, you need to upload data to your workspace to create data tables that you want to analyze. For this purpose, you are setting up a data source. Zoho Analytics allows you to easily view and manage all the data sources set up in a workspace. This enables you to track and manage all the sources from which the data has been imported into a workspace. Zoho Analytics provides various options to import the data you have in local files, web URLs, cloud drives, Google spreadsheets, Google Docs, etc., local and cloud databases, popular business applications, and custom applications into Zoho Analytics workspaces for your in-depth analysis and reporting. 3. Datasets Dataset is a storage of data that looks like an Excel sheet. Datasets may contain static data or be periodically updated from a corresponding data source. Zoho Analytics stores all your tabular datasets in entities called tables. A table contains a set of columns and actual data rows. Each column has a name and a type, data type, associated with it. A Zoho Analytics database could contain a collection of tables. Two tables could be related to each other using lookup columns, thus enabling you to model a relational workspace. Data Modeling A great feature in Zoho Analytics is the way it supports relational data modeling. You can create or import a database consisting of multiple tables with relationships defined between them. Then use this information to create reports by mixing data from these tables, seamlessly without any additional effort. Query Tables Another way of combining data from different tables is using Queries object. That helps you, in fact, to develop a new dataset that unions data from these tables the way you want. Query Table is a feature that enables you to prepare data for easy reporting and analysis. You can combine data from one or more datasets in a workspace and create specific data views using the standard SQL queries. These data views are similar to tables, and you can perform operations such as report creation, sharing, and even create another query table over an existing query table. Reports. There are a few types of reports available in Zoho Analytics, but they are powerful enough to meet 90% of your needs. Zoho Analytics, as a reporting software, offers a wide variety of reporting options such as charts, pivot tables, summary views and tabular views. This enables you to easily analyze your data and derive great insights. The intuitive drag and drop based designer of Zoho Analytics allows you to easily construct the required reports. Charts 
A chart is a visual representation of data that allows you to effectively analyze and interpret data. Pivot tables. Pivot table allows you to dynamically rearrange, group, and summarize data for easy analysis of large sets of data. Summary view. Summary view enables you to view your summarized data in tabular formats. Tabular view. Tabular view will help you display data in a simple tabular format. Dashboards. A dashboard is an effective way of organizing reports into a single page to have a quick insight into the key metrics at a glance. Zoho Analytics provides a simple and intuitive drag and drop interface for creating dashboards in minutes. Dashboard allows you to combine multiple reports in a single page for a quick overview. Zoho Analytics provides a flexible layout that allows you to organize the dashboard in any way as required. With this, you can easily create a visually rich and interactive dashboard by adding reports, widgets, and user filters. On this slide, you can see a few examples of ready dashboards. Let us remind you of the list of the Zoho Analytics entities. Every item on the list will be explained in detail during the following lessons. Enjoy your data and keep analyzing.